exit here. Mm. Right, we're off. And we're off to Shoresmead, which is near Aberaeron. Aberaeron, is that right? Aberaeron. Aberaeron. Aber 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 which is south of Aber Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, so mid Wales. Yeah, on the west coast. On the west coast. Whilst we were here, we made a little change to our itinerary. We're not going to go to Freshwater East now, we decided. We didn't fancy, fancy that site. It's a bit of a big site, it's bank holiday, so I think we're going to go for somewhere or stay somewhere a little bit quieter and hopefully Shores Mead is a little bit quieter. The smaller site. It's a smaller site, Quite yeah. Quite smaller site. Yeah. So, um, We've never really been in that area, have no, we? No, plus uh, we, we thought there's a lot more to do around, around there, or seem to be, maybe I'm wrong. Mm. We we'll find out. <laughs> we'll find out, won't we? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, uh, and we never really explored Mid Wales, so we thought we'd, we'd take the opportunity to have six days there. And it's it's quick be quicker to get to the next site, the Brecon Beacon site. There's about an hour and a half. Otherwise we were going two hours to Freshwater, then another two hours to Brecon Beacon, so we've cut quite a bit of driving time out. Yeah. And you've got been doing quite a bit of editing, haven't you? Totally nice to chill for a bit. Yes, yeah, so we might actually might actually have a couple of days off whilst we're there. Give me some beans to get up this hill. Yeah. So I think this is going to be quite a nice journey, so we'll try and yeah. figure out the best bits. Yeah. It's a little bit of a grey day again. Yeah. But definitely coming coming back here, we're really enjoying mm -hmm. um, Coed Eklin. Yeah. It's very woody around here, isn't it? The um, forest and everything. There's some lovely forest walks back there. Yeah. We could always explore forest walks when we come back. We? Yeah. Yeah, we could. Fantastic roads in Wales, aren't they? Really are. Seems to be on this on our own almost, yeah. don't we? Yeah. Never been here before, ever. 
Shaw's mate. No, never. So if this is not the recommended <laughs> way, I <laughs> apologise. Take the next right. Surely, but there was, thought it was a farm. Sorry? I thought there was a farm there. Yeah. Did you see any signs for the no, site then? No, didn't see anything. out on site working it says. Oh. Sniff and snip our herbs. So it probably says on the door go and find a pitch and Have come back later. Your destination. Yes. Yes. Plenty a few of hairy moments. Right, the um, got a wealth of information from the reception there. Yeah we'll show you it more when uh, we yeah. start but yeah. Incredible. Notice so we've got a little car, so that's very good if you're uh, around here because a lot of the lanes are very narrow, as we've just found out. Yeah, so be a nice challenge. So you can it? go on the grass if you want to. So these pitches here, I think, just check on the map there. These pitches are quite short. Yeah. So a car goes in front if uh, right as far back as you can go. I think. Oh no, those pitches are quite short. Where are we? We're we're next to four, that's number four. Right. There. Okay, so if you want a satellite signal, it might be better going on the grass actually. Or we'll well, there's one in the, sort of in the middle there, isn't there? Here. I was trying to work out the compass and I struggle always with well, it. Well, give us a compass. We're not holding anyone up, are we? No, no, there's no one behind us, I don't think, anyway. No. Yeah, I think so. I just wonder. On the end here. What, just here. Just here. Do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. It's a bit nice, big pitch. You don't want to go on the grass. Well, in case okay, so it, we're here for six days, aren't we? Could end up with it wet. Or wet, I suppose. So yeah. Right, we're going full caravan mode. So we're going to put the awning up, uh, get the barbecue out, put the skirt on, do the whole lot. Do the whole lot. Right. And these two are really, really going to help. You think? Are you sure they're
They've left these unmown areas, uh, presumably to encourage the bees and insects. Obviously you've got the toilet recycling facilities up here. Drinking water, wastewater, usual sort of thing. Chemical loo. Right, this is us set up for six days now. Realise I've found a use for these limpets. I had this uh, draft skirt. It's really designed for a caravan, but uh, this draft skirt. I can stick it here to exclude the draft under the van. Because obviously before we just sort of we just look, sort of left it open. Because the dogs see a rabbit or something and they're off under the van. Not so, uh, looking out at the moment much though, are they? Not much rabbit hunting going on at the moment. No. There's Tara tucked in a corner. They wa wanted to come in in the awning. I mean, it's a beautiful sunny day out of there. <laughs> they want to be in the awning. I suppose it, it means that they don't have to worry, doesn't it? Yeah, that's right. They don't have to be on the lookout. I think they were getting a bit hotter. We were right out in this part. I suppose it was quite hot out there. We're here for six days. I'm not sure I'm going to want to do anything tomorrow, do a bit of shopping. Uh, just have a little relax. I've got a couple of videos to catch up on uh, editing. I've got the, the train journey to, uh, to finish editing and obviously arriving here. So I might just have a quiet day tomorrow, give us a chance to catch up. So I'm two videos ahead. So what day is it today? Wednesday. Right, so yeah, so it's Wednesday. So I've got two I've got a video tonight and a video Thursday. We've got this list oh, yeah. of uh, dog friendly eating out places, haven't we? Yeah. I mean they yeah, bring it over here. It's <laughs> still sp spread over quite a, a big area. It's on three yeah. pages. Yeah. And I don't really know where all the places are yet. No. But so it's this was given to us at reception, wasn't yeah. it? So she said, oh, you've got, got some dogs, or oh, you want uh, a dog friendly eating out. So it's three pages of it. Yeah, but some are at Cardington and places like that. All right, that. so some are a some bit of a way. Some are away. And then she's given us a nice list of things that you can take your dog on. Place, yeah, places you can go. So the, the Vale of Rydal, Rydal Railway and uh, trips, to, trips to Remember Boat Trips. There's loads of things to do. This is why we wanted to come here. I yeah, thought, yeah. thought there were lots of things to do. Well, it's on two beaches. pages, isn't it? Well, they're the beaches. Oh, beaches as well, yeah. Restrictions or not Where, for Whether dogs. you can take dogs on there or not. So That's really good. Like that. Another little piece about dogs on beaches. Yeah, not taking dogs on the beach near Shoresmead. Yeah, and then this looks interesting. Um, places to take the car, because you said... You know, it's a good job we bought the little car because there's a lot of lanes and everything. Yeah. And these are some uh, places not to miss going to. Yeah, how to get there by car. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's oh, yeah. really helpful, that. Yeah. But normally you just get the that, don't The usual you, sort the, of, yeah, the, the, map. the map. And and then you're expected to go in the information oh, and do your own troll, damn research. <laughs> throw all the stuff in there. I mean, obviously you've got the, the usual leaflet, sort of leaflets, yeah. That leaflet. Yeah. 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 So it was really good, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Plenty to do, I think. But we've got a bit of shopping, haven't we, to get and catch up with tomorrow? Well, yeah, because the fridge is. The fridge is just about empty now. It's got hardly anything in it. Yeah. No. So. Uh, the nearest shop is 1.7 miles away down at by that garage, the golf garage. Right. Right. So I have to go down there in the morning. Yeah. Like I say. Uh, it's quite a, it was quite a drive over here. Mm, mm. Quite a tiring drive. Yeah. Put the awning up and it is warm as well today. 
Yeah, well that's what I thought about fresh water east, wasn't it? That that's another two hours for you. Yeah. And then another two and a half hours to get to Brecon Beacon. Yeah. Whereas from here, it's one and a half hours because it's across country. Yeah. So I think that's better. Yeah. It means we can relax a bit more. Yeah. It's lovely, it really is lovely here. Yeah, I'll just give you a quick yeah. quick look round. I suppose I ought to do the toilet block. But uh, like a, it's like a central area. We've got a lot of caravans here at the moment. There's no one around at the moment. But you've got the toilet block over there. Obviously you've got your waste and water there. We Our waste and water's here. There's another sort of area over there. But it's all in sort of this circular area um, surrounded by trees and it's very very peaceful at the moment there's a few cows in the background but um, yeah like it a lot here yeah I must remember to put my winder away and I think the dogs are a bit tired as well I think it was quite yeah. a Busy day for them yesterday. That's right, they didn't get a chance to sleep with them on the railway. No, no. Uh, I think we've been doing something every day, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So a day off tomorrow. Mm. Yeah, so you're going to do the honest pops? Hey, give us a thumbs up, remember to subscribe, hit the notifications icon, and Poppy will catch up with you later. She can wake up.